Hello, beautiful. Welcome to the United Way. I hope you're all doing fantastic. Well, guys, I mean, today's Friday, guys, and I, I know you guys are thinking of going, uh, I mean, out for beer and so on. But yeah, you see, I will be leaving immediately after this for a glass of wine. But yeah, let's kick off the day. A lot of story from Manchester United. Not only the sales story, which is booming worldwide, but also there are also some potential transfer stories. And uh, that will lead me up to the, the, the one which I think I should talk about it with you in fan, with fans, you know. Yes, guys, my name is Rob Dukan. If it's your first time here, I we upload videos here every day about manchester united these are fan related contents so it's pro fan contents which your input you are the key here so if you're interested in such contents make sure you you clearly uh subscribe and join the the few who have done so but you know if you don't we will go without you guys that's how we work in the united way but yeah let's go back to this story there is this guy called florent Pleti Gold. I followed this guy during the summer because of his input. He works for Sky Germany. He knows a lot about European football, specialized in German. He was the one that gave up the scoop also about Ten Hag coming to Manchester United. He is quite a smart guy. You can follow him if you want to be happy. You can see below me here yeah, the reason why I post this here. Yeah, this um, what he said on um, it's uh, this is his Twitter account. You can follow him if you want. So Sky, he has come out and said Pleti Gold and said uh, Manchester United. <clears throat> makes contact with Barcelona over resigning Memphis Depay. So I said we should talk about this. This will not be the only story. We will talk about Gakpo. I will talk about a, a certain um, Portuguese player that might come to Manchester United, pending if we if we uh, have a new owner in the coming coming weeks. Coming weeks, yeah. And uh, we want to hear from you guys because this channel is for you guys. Tell me who you prefer. And let me just say, if you had to buy in January and you had the catch, will you go very careful? and go for someone like Depay, or you will go for Gakpo, spend big on Gakpo, and do one more signings in the summer, or you go for someone which is very expensive, or an attacker like Jonathan David. Uh, I don't know. You guys should drop your comments below because we reply to your comments because this channel is mostly for you guys who love football. I've learned a lot from your comments, guys. I really learned from a lot from your comments. We have some smart guys here who have just come in. For those of you who have subscribed, very few of you, Thanks for joining the channel. This is how we'll grow. Share this with United fans. Let's go, fans. Let's go straight to the channel, to the topic of today. So, Pleti Gol has come out and said clearly that, um, that Manchester United is interested to make a U-turn and uh, get back um, Depay. He's also on the list, Depay. So, he uh, Depay, for most of you who know Manchester United, I don't know how old you are, some of you watching this content. He was here, I think, six years ago, or six, seven years ago. Depay was in signed for Manchester United. Van Gaal basically brought him here. He was a young star, not very, very raw, not really matured. But uh, he did he he did what he could do for Manchester United. Uh, but he could not meet up with the with the expectation. He was quite talented, but to some extent, he was carried away. About I mean, he was carried away uh, by the fantasy side of football. When I mean fantasy, you you, you get my point. Uh, the, the the glamour side of football. I remember him coming for training with a raised rose because he could afford it, you know. Then he wasn't doing pretty much well on the pitch. And uh, yeah, this when you come when you come to me when someone asks me about this, I could go back always to to uh, Ed Woodward. Ed Woodward is the guy who played a massive role. He didn't totally destroy the club, but I think he made a, he stayed, played a massive role in uh, undermining the disciplinary code for Manchester United in the sense that Ed Woodward is the one who started buying players and giving them crazy money. Ed Woodward is the one who kind of keeping players, signing them one, one, one year extensions just to hold their value. Ed Woodward is the only one who didn't want investment into the club. This is a fact. Ed Woodward didn't want investment because he knew investing in Manchester United, it means putting in money, cash. And this is, and by the way, I want to tell you guys, this is one of the reasons why Glazers want to sell. Because of the dilapidated stadium, because of the, they don't want to sign the meet up with the challenges of the modern market of top top team signing very players for for huge sum of money. Because of not just I mean let's come out to the basics right because because of the simple I'll say for the simple fact that they are not just United fans they're not football fans they don't even care for their football is something else. But with Glazers we'll do that on another video. But I want to come back to this video and ask your opinion about Memphis Depay. What is your opinion about Memphis Depay? You think Memphis Depay is someone that Manchester United should bang in on? Is this, is this a player, what I'm trying to say is, is this a player which um, you think will add value for the present Manchester United squad? Because Ronaldo has left, United had 
I read this article today. United had no no plans to bring in a, a player of uh, such a caliber. Yes, we have. We will. We we were setting our sights on finding someone who is going to replace Harry Wan Basaka, who is going to play the right back with Delo. But we were not going actually for a nine. I mean, the only nine we could go in for Gakpo. Well, good if it is some some was okay, but we didn't really want to go to play go, go to Depay this January. I didn't say in summer, but uh, the fact that Ronaldo has gone out and uh, got, and uh, we are looking our sights now on a player in the uh, Memphis Depay, I don't think it's a bad thing. As this is a reaction in, into that that story, I just want to tell you guys my opinion. Ronaldo was a potential eighteen million pound player to the end of the, uh, to the end of the season till the end of the season. And uh, Manchester United have saved 18 million by sacking, basically sacking Cristiano Ronaldo from Manchester United. Let's just uh, do this in a more uh, financial, in a more financial way, right? We get in someone like Memphis Depay. Memphis Depay might cost us. He might want to come back to Manchester and prove himself. We get in, let me say, on a short-term deal, one-year deal to the summer. Tell me if this is something which you, you agree with. We take, get him to a, 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 um, a contract that gets him till the end of the, uh, to the summer, right? He proves himself. I think Depay's salary will not be over $4 million a season. From now till the end of the season, it will not be over that sum because he will be free. He might have a slight compensation, but he is a free agent. We are not buying him. We're taking him on a short-term deal, right? You see? So it's not like he's signing years of contract in order for us to pay a heavy fee for him to come to Manchester United. So um, that I think they pay, they pay, it's a smart move, but it could be a risky move. Why? Because from the history of Manchester United, if you are a fan of this club, you will know we have not really done well while bringing players back to Manchester United. I would say the most successful um, comeback in Manchester United was Paul Schools, and he didn't even play for over a season. He, you remember when Paul Schools came back to to help the midfield Manchester United when when Sir Alex Ferguson brought him back from retirement? I would say successful because he wasn't detrimental to the team. He added value. Because Popga was not a success in the sense, uh, when considering the investment in Popga, he wasn't a success. He we spent 80 million for Popga, but he left for free. You won't tell me that Cristiano Ronaldo was a massive success because, yes, individually the brand and in terms of uh, what he brings in terms of the value of the player, the baggage of Ronaldo, it is you can say a success, but it's not really that. It wasn't that la creme la creme uh, comeback. So um, Manchester United haven't had it very good with players coming back uh, to Old Trafford. So I'm a bit worried about this with Memphis Depay. It could be another loop. Who knows? It could be another massive mistake. But Eric Tengnak is keen on bringing this player in terms of... Let me just remind you guys. Remember when Tenak said we are going to look for opportunities in the market in order to bring players? This is what he meant. He meant if there are players that we can get for loan, that we can get for good value for money, uh, we are going to uh, attach ourselves to the deal. And, you know, no, none of you will say Depay is a bad player. If you think Depay is a bad player, tell me why. I think Depay, I watched him when he left United to Lyon. He, he was the main player there. And he had a fantastic, um, I think, three or four seasons for Lyon. Then he was uh, he went to Barcelona where he, he he was part of the team I think last year before Javi came in and changed everything. So I think uh, Depay could be a good team player, a squad player, a player who has to prove himself. He could he could um, he could bring something to Manchester United in the short term. Uh, obviously he's now in Manchester United and he and he's now in sorry in the World Cup with, with the Dutch team, but he's not a starter. You know, Bergwijn is starting games for in front ahead of him, so uh, that 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 says a lot. Maybe because he hasn't had enough games in his legs and in, in Barcelona, and that's why Van Gaal would prefer players who are active. I, I would say that's the reason because I think that in terms of talent, I think um, De Gea, um, uh, Depay, sorry, it's uh, the best player, it's a better player than Berg, Bergwijn, Bergwijn in my in my in my honest uh, view. So let's go to another story. Yeah, the story also was about uh, in regards to Gakpo. Manchester United are interested in Gakpo, but let me just tell you the problem we have in Manchester United. Remember in the summer, just three months ago, during the transfer window, just three, three and a half months ago, when Manchester United started showing interest in Gakpo and they wanted to bring Gakpo and um, uh, Dasuza Antoni. 
Gakpo back then was worth. Uh, you remember Gakpo? Uh, PSV played against Monaco. Yeah, I mean, they lost and they didn't qualify for the Champions League. Yeah, and Gakpo's worth was 30 million euros back then. And uh, now, just because he the season has kicked up, he has had a good season, and now he's having a fantastic World Cup. He's a young player, and his worth is already 50 million. The last time I checked, euros. So this is the issue with Manchester United. When I tell in regards of to buy Manchester United, when I talk about when I talk about Manchester United being owned by someone who it's more institutional, structured person rather than a billionaire, and Manchester United will be successful with such a, an ownership. And many will say I'm wrong in this one. But I think because the biggest problem we have in Manchester United, it's not because the Glazers were not were not spending. They have put money to play. We've brought Di Maria here for almost seven, I mean, over 70 million pounds. We have made, we have given crazy salaries in the Premier League. That's not the problem. The problem of Manchester United is for us, we lack the backbone of a club. The backbone of the club is a structure, the way transfers are done, the technical director, who decides what, what is the strategy of the manager, what the manager wants from a, a team, what is the type of players which the managers want. I mean, Ralph Rangney came and told us this all last year. He said, players, if you go to Liverpool, Liverpool is structured. It's not because Liverpool have buy, buy stars. No. Liverpool buys players who can play a certain way. And we have seen that with Eric Ten Hag. Ten Hag, have, all the five players Eric Ten Hag have brought this year has been performance. I mean, their performance have been spot on. I mean, you agree with me. Smash a like on the video if you do agree with what I'm trying to say. Because all the five players with Ten Hag... I, I mean, using this season, are doing quite well, quite, quite well. And by the way, please uh, like the video and, and subscribe for daily content if you would love to. I would love you guys to be part of it because uh, this is a channel. We will go somewhere. We are building up something. And we're doing a giveaway in the first week of January. First week of the December, we're giving one of these. So if you want to take part of it, all you need to be is follow us, please. Uh, follow us on Instagram because when you win, if you win, when I call your name on my videos and you're not around... I'll close it and that's it. I need to get in contact with you to know where you are living around the world and I send, and we send it to you. We tell the ladies, you, you post them to, 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 the, to the winner. That's the way we'll do it. So uh, make sure you follow us on our Instagram. Everything here, you can follow us on our, um, our Twitter because we share this content and uh, that's will be an easy way. So if you win, in, in seven days, if we don't get the win, we don't, we don't get a, a word from the winner, we cancel it and put it on the market again. Anyway, so the, um, in regards to players, we have heard of uh, Jao uh, Felix uh, for Atlético Madrid, who is also um, who might come to United for a loan, a season-year loan. Jao, Jao Felix, good player from a uh, uh, Portuguese player who plays for Atlantic, uh, Atlético Madrid. Uh, coming uh, uh united are trying to find the opportunity if you ask my opinion on that and i can ask your opinion let me your opinion on that tell me joa felix uh gagpo or Memphis. who will you go for you can add jonathan um you can add jonathan the canadian into the into the mix the four of them already who will you go to i love joa felix i think he's just has his, his technique is at a different level i think united will lack that technical players we have a young player in uh, Ganacho coming up who might add that value of technicality. When I talk of technicality in football, you watch England play um, USA yesterday. The only reason England couldn't score because we lack England lacked technique in the final third. They had the lack creativity players in the final third. You see, and that's why I think um, if a play a, a co the coach of England, the manager of England, Southgate, I think. I think England needs to find find somebody else for them. But well, this is not uh, three lions uh, channel, so we will do um, with something else. Uh, we will we will go with something else. Yeah, guys. As I said, I just want you guys to know this. Um, uh, I want to know that you guys know that I'll just give a round up of the video. Yeah. So Messi Depay might be coming to Manchester United, depending on what the reports are. Uh, because Plenty Gold has come out and said Manchester Memphis Depay will come to will we are United are interested in bringing on Memphis Depay, and that the, the the bad news here is that Jude Bellingham might not be coming to Manchester United because of firstly the fee 150 million uh, euros, 
Secondly, there are a lot of people, a lot of teams are interested. You got Real Madrid, you know, there's a competition on this player. So uh, we will see. But yeah, guys, uh, as time goes on, uh, we will see. And um, uh, hopefully that United uh, will uh, get the right owners. And uh, guys, please make sure you subscribe because when this information come out, we will just go live anywhere we are and you want to be the first to get the information. So make sure you subscribe to the United Way, getting, uh, get involved. Have a nice uh, well, weekend, guys. It's Friday night live. And yeah, talk to you soon, guys. Bye-bye.